I'm on the way to Nintendo World, do da. Oh my gosh, this is the Starbucks line? I don't have enough time for Starbucks. That's really depressing. Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to the grand, oh, it's not even a grand opening. I'm cheating the system. Universal's been building this brand new Nintendo World and they're opening it in like all of their theme parks. Not the first one in the US that's gonna open is in Hollywood. And their grand opening is in a couple weeks in February. After doing some investigative work, I found out that you could get a season pass to go before it opens and be one of the first people to experience it. So I did just that. I went and bought my season pass the day before we were supposed to make the reservations. The reservation system was overwhelmed, just like the Taylor Swift concert tickets. I got a little bit of PTSD there. And so then they rescheduled it for like three days later on the next Monday. So I went in bright and early at 8 a.m. and I snagged the first one. We're literally going to the first slot opening. I get to experience history before it's even made. That's so cool. Come on now. I have seen a couple leaks, so I know a little bit about what to expect. I know that Toadstool Cafe has one of the best looking restaurant menus of all time. And don't even get me started on the meet and greets. They have Princess Peach, they have Luigi. Welcome to Universal! I love the city walk here. I want to have my birthday at Twosomes this year. The feeling of entitlement that came over my body when I saw this sign. I've decided I do walk a lot faster than most people, but considering every time there's somebody going slightly slower, I'll just book it in front of them. Is this a normal thing that people do? I thought the overcasted weather was so pretty. Uh, turns out it actually was setting me up for the giant line I had to wait in to get my wristband in the arms of... <laughs> Nothing will ever compare to the feeling of putting one of these things on by yourself. It's torture. Oh, I did it. Oh my god. Of course I put it on wrong. First order of business is to get one of those power-up bands. Oh my gosh, I'm Yoshi. Yoshi's been my favorite since day one. $40 later. There's a map. <gasps> It's a whole hide and seek up in there. You ready for the cool part? This better work or else I'm gonna be a little upset. In the arms. I give up. I'm gonna take it, you know? Sometimes you're not gonna win, so you should just take what you can. It's such a fat egg. We also just happen to be outside of the Starbucks in the park, so I'm gonna take that as a sign to get me a coffee. Are you Hi, I am. Can I take a picture? I would love to take a photo with you. If you ever run into me and then overthink you being awkward, just know I do the same exact thing. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love the rain. Fun fact, it's heavily rumored that all of this is gonna eventually turn into a Fast and Furious roller coaster. Since this park is basically on a hillside, you have to take four different sets of escalators to wind up in the lower lot where Super Nintendo World is. Finding out where to go proved to be so confusing. We ended up using the queue of Jurassic World because that ride was down and they just held us here like hostages. I don't know how, but I became the line leader for literally 150 people. <laughs> Woohoo! Where do I go? We're supposed to just form a line down this way? I wouldn't exactly call that the most organized. Oh, let's go. Red wristbands! Oh my gosh, it's happening. The day has finally come. Ah! Wow. Okay, there's a little bit of a hold up here. I don't know how many people are allowed to be in here, but this is crowded. Like, there's babies on shoulders. I have so much to explore. Oh my god, it's Yoshi. I am so overly stimulated right now, but I think they did that on purpose. I really want to eat here. This is all I care about, honestly. I'm a foodaholic. I went up asking for a reservation. The guy led me to a line that reached all the way back to the entrance. This is fun. I got two hours to enjoy this wonderfully overpacked land. Whoever designed this place needs a pat on the back because this is really impressive. Everywhere you look, there's something moving. Even my booty here and there because this music was going up. Right off the bat, if you're ever coming here in the summertime or on a weekend, this is most likely what it's going to look like. So be prepared. You will also hear this sound every five milliseconds because it is non-stop. This is all part of that interactive wristband game, which I'm honestly a little hesitant to try because my bracelet will not stay on. For $40, girl do better. After patiently waiting for literally 20 people to go and hit this block, I was expecting something magical to happen. And it honestly just felt like I was hitting a block. But then I tried the interactive games that are found around the land. And honestly, this was the most fun I've had in a very long time. And me and this complete stranger turned into best friends. And it actually had a purpose because you had to get three keys around the land to be able to finally go and play against the final boss, Bowser Jr. And from what I've gathered, this is like the ultimate challenge of the land in itself. Welcome to Bowser Jr. Shuttle Showdown. If you ever find yourself playing this, I would like to warn you, you do not need to exert excessive amounts of energy. It will drain you and you will not do as good as the people next to you that are not out of breath that kind of just sat there playing the game normally but I still won regardless
Then it was time to do the only ride found in this entire land. The line backed up to Peach. The wait time is literally reading 100 minutes. I'm hoping they have a single rider line or something. One of my favorite hacks in theme parks is to take single rider instead of waiting with your family. You can experience this ride by yourself. You don't need them. And might I also mention, I waited 20 minutes. I even got front row. Well, it broke down on me twice. <laughs> I would like to go one more time just to get the full experience and then I'll share my thoughts after. For now though, it's time to munch. I'm seeing a lot of threes, so I just know it's gonna be good. So I made sure to get all the good eats so we can figure out really what the best meal to get here is. And that will show up on my wallet later. So like this video if you haven't already. Eating by yourself is so awkward. Thank you so much. Thank you, enjoy your day. First up is the beautifully crafted toad-shaped garlic nuts. Oh, I could already feel my stomach gurgling for a taste. She gets a five, it was nothing special. This next dish, however, is my all-time favorite, spaghetti, meatballs, and a Parmesan crisp. It's Parmesan. If you're not supposed to do this, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Already, these meatballs are so voluptuous. Don't forget to blow your food. It reminds me of my school lunches. That's a compliment, by the way. With that bite, it was really game over. This stole my heart, and there was no going back. I give it an 8, 9, 89. I like this one a lot, but maybe it's just because I like meat. But step aside, shoddy, because my new side hoe is making a grand entry. This has beef, this has bacon, this has all the meats. I really didn't expect this Mario hat to be a souvenir. I never know how to eat a burger. Like, are you supposed to be courteous, or can you actually enjoy the burger? Miraculously, I got no meat, which calls for a wraparound. That's a good burger. Let's all thank Chef Toad for this one. Uh, there's mushrooms in this? You get a seven. I have no idea what you are, but you are beautiful. A little sneak peek before I go in with the big spoon. I really don't know what this is, but it has a weird substance and a strong coffee aftertaste. Is this tiramisu? It is. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Sam. Sam. Don't get me wrong, it was delicious. But not as good as the next one. Princess Peach's Cupcake. Ah! Making it pretty, setting the scene before I sink my teeth in and suck all the blood. Six. I don't like sugar, so take that with a grain of sugar. I want to go ride Mario Kart again. The line is now a 200 minute wait, but I got in in 20 minutes. Again. I didn't even realize my phone's on 3%. Let's get back to my car before I make my final accusations. My phone didn't die. I don't even know where to begin. Let's begin with Mario Kart. I have never seen any technology remotely similar to what I experienced on this two minute excursion. There is a piece that is on your head. Then there is something on the car itself attached to a string that you clip on. The first time I rode this, the part that I clipped on from the ride was scratched. And then just to add to that, the ride broke down twice it just stopped moving and we're just sitting there pew, pew, pew. and like granted you can keep shooting but after a while you have nothing else to shoot i will combat that by saying the ar technology was so well done if you shot a turtle shell at a wall it bounced off the wall if you shot it up in the air it bounced off the ceiling then after my initial ride i went back and did it again and this is where it really just did it for me okay there's a section of this ride that didn't work the first time i went through and it's right before you get on rainbow road there's a star that will come and like scoop you up and push you onto Rainbow Road. Granted, you're going five miles an hour on this thing, right? You're not going fast at all, but you feel like it because of the AR technology. Here it comes. Here's my very critical, highly acclaimed review. Write it. You should totally ride it. I would ride it again right now, if I could. I think what they were trying to accomplish on this ride was something that you want to continue to go on over and over again to almost compete with yourself. I will say these things suck. Universal, if you could make some different sizes or something. It fell off my wrist twice. I really don't understand why it doesn't stay. It loosens up and then it just falls off over time. I just kind of wish it was a little more sturdy. Go Carter. Go Carter. I usually don't try to show my theme park nerd self, but I feel like this video and my Disney World video, it's starting to show a little bit more. So if you like it, I'll continue because I love going to theme parks. It's my favorite place to just lose myself. You know what? No, I want an outro. I want like a one-liner that I start saying. Keep it greasy, my friends.